Let's oh go. Oh my god, bon appetito. Mm. So excited to pick up Chef Danny Smiles for our food adventure today. We are headed over to local Italian grocery store La Baie de Fromage where we will collect beautiful ingredients, then make our way to Mount Royal and have a beautiful picnic in the park, talk shop, get into the mind of Chef Danny Smiles. Follow me, stay tuned, it's going to be amazing. Danny. Yes. What makes a great chef? Patience, passion, and positivity. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're actually putting food on a plate. I think you need to have the patience for the kitchen. You know, it's always a, there's always a different uh, situation. It's a high stress environment. So you really got to stay positive and stay on top of your, your game. You know what I mean? And then uh, having the passion, like really enjoying every aspect of like cooking, leading a team, uh, you know, being able to talk to your patrons is like extremely important, I find. Who do you think is the greatest inspiration in your cooking? You know, my mom, my dad, my two grandmas, my aunt. I was lucky enough to be raised, you know, half my side is Egyptian, half my side is Italian. Both heavy rooted sides and everybody was just a fantastic cook, you know what I'm saying? Like my, it was just like, that was the thing that we did. We'll keep it classic the way my grandma or my granddad would make it. So we'll do like a traditional panino. We'll do prosciutto di parma and then uh, the mortadella. Okay. Going grocery shopping with my dad was probably one of the best things that you could probably do on a Saturday, you know what I mean? As a kid, it would be like a whole thing all morning. And then after that, my dad would start cooking and it would be like this thing and music was playing, blaring. You ask anybody, they always used to be like, oh, I can't wait to come to your house for dinner. And it was just like, so I guess I fell into it, you know, for sure. I think we're gonna go with something different. We'll go with a little stracchino, which is like a soft cheese, you know? What are the greatest sacrifices that you made over the last 18 years, devoting yourself day in and day out to this profession? When I knew this is what I really wanted to do, all the stuff that you love, you, you push aside. So I really put my head down and all I did was food and read and missing out on a lot of occasions, on family occasions. You know, whether you're a chef, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're an artist, whatever you are, you need to like eat it, breathe it. You know, this is what you do. You know, I started from the dish pit and started working for my parents and went into other big kitchens in the city and then did some stages you know in Italy and then came back and traveled and then finally to come here and being a part owner and being the chef of your own restaurant you know I became chef here when I was 27 I didn't know what I was doing you just it felt heavy you know it was just like a lot of you know it was it was tough but then you know you, you start building a team that believes in you and you start working together and, you know, Bremner is still going strong. I have the best team I've ever had. You know, we still have like a nice clientele that comes and so it's nice It's that, you know, that's what I call the reward. My grandfather was just like, like, I don't know, food was so uh, special to them. Uh, you always hear the same stories. Like you're on your way to Halifax and it took a week and like I think the first thing that they ate was like a piece of white bread and they're like, you know, if this is the bread that they have in Canada, I think we're gonna take the boat back to Italy. That, that's why they kept all the traditions and making the tomato sauce, making the wine and, and having all that. Food was so important to them and it transcends, you know. So that's it. Here you go, and just like kind of get it all together. And then we'll start with this one and kind of see the rip over here. She's a beauty. Danny Smiles, thank you so much for taking me on this beautiful food adventure and building with your own two hands this magnificent Italian inspired sandwich. This clearly went beyond the plate and I'm in heaven right now. Simplicity. Mm. 
we tend to forget it, you know? Mm. 